Featuring Professor Ken and Rick in The Lion's Den. Truly the best of both worlds at covering life topics. My man Professor Ken and Rick in The Lion's Den. Peace them up. One. Okay, we got another topic that's always on the minds of inquiring minds that want to know. The mindset behind the game and behind having game. You talking about the mindset behind the game in 2020, 2020. versus the, mind, the mindset, you know, back in the day? Yes, yes, exactly. Well, well, you know, Rick, a lot of people say, Ken, you know, you're very articulate. You know, we like the way you and Rick put it together, y'all. Give some very inspiring and educational and, and persuasive speeches. And I tell people, you know, I mean, even a, a flower evolves, you know, from a seed. You know, everything evolves and it grows into maturity, you know. So as you become more mature and more knowledgeable and you have more wisdom and knowledge and understanding, of course, your horizon grow. You know, you start speaking on more worldly things, you know, things that are current events and so on and so forth, which is what we do. But, you know, a lot of guys think that speaking on the game it's fashionable in 2020. Hmm. In reality, you know, if I can help them out, if I can just give some brothers some wisdom, that's not what's going to win the people. You know, talking about the bitch and the hoe and this and that other man, that's archaic. You know, that's that's prehistoric. That's like, you know, some barbaric shit. You know what I mean? Hmm. You know, you got to speak on, on more intellectual and more intelligent things in 2020 versus the 70s and 80s, the 90s, and even in some cases the early 2000s. And the reason why is because the game is so pervasive. The game is out there. Everybody can go on the internet and get a dose of the game. Right. You know, I mean, I can imagine somebody trying to walk up to a woman and say, what's up, baby? I'm going to make you rich. You know, I'm going to buy you some diamonds. And, you know, I'm going to make sure, you know, you're looking good. You know, we're going to be riding a Fleetwood. I can imagine somebody bringing that to a broad in 2020. She's going to look at him like, fool, who do you think he is? Pippa Ken, Don Juan, somebody? You know what I'm saying? That's what they're going to say because there's so much game that's on the internet. You know, you got all the old school players, you know, just dropping game on top of game on top of game that a lot of guys think that that's the way to come. No, you cannot reinvent the wheel. If somebody said it first, guess what? You need a second, third, or fourth. Right. You know, you got to be wise enough to understand that you got to create them. You got to be creative. You can still kick game, but you ain't got to be talking about a bitch or a hoe or talk about selling drugs or talk about mashing to kick some good game. Game coming all sizes and disguises. You know what I'm saying? When you see Oprah Winfrey with a three billion dollar company, you can best believe she kicked some kind of game out of her mouth to get three billion dollars. When you see Robert Smith worth five billion dollars, he kicked some kind of game out of his mouth. You can best believe that Jay Z wasn't trying to sell crack or wasn't trying to sell weed in corporate America to get those billions that he got. Neither was Dr. Dre. But you can see something as small as Beast by Dre yielded a billion dollars, three billion dollars. You can see something as small as 10% of vitamin water at 50 cents. Oh, and yield him $100 million. Now he got, he popping on stars. He popping on, he got the BMF project coming out. He got all this stuff coming out. That's game. That's the new level of game. Hmm. America is a whole. Wake up, fellas. America is a whole. America is the biggest prostitution in the world. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to sell her. You know, uh, 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 Mary Kay trying to sell her. You know, uh, Sprint trying to sell her. AT&T trying to sell her. Everybody trying to get some of that American whole money. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just think of it in, in a broader sense. And, you know, get off your corners. You know, get out of your Cadillacs. And get off your little beepers and all that stuff, man. And come into the future, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's a new wave, it's a new game. Bros is not falling for that slick stuff, man. Man, I had hear bros that they read my book and text me or uh, some way hit me on my DM and be like, you know what, my boyfriend trying to run that same game that's in your book on me. He didn't know I had the book. Or some your boyfriend trying to run that same book that's a Rose book, book, you know, but he ain't run the game on me. Or Don Juan book or Iceberg Slip book. It's a lot of books on the game. So a lot of you guys think you can read the game and then regurgitate it and take it out there into the streets and you're fool. I'm telling you, the new game is corporate America. Why do you think I'm working with corporate America, these billion dollar companies like Netflix and Simon & Schuster? Because that's where the money at, y'all. Yeah. I mean, the bars, you know what I'm saying, from back in the day, that they, they woke down. You know, they got the game, yeah, you can get a girl, 
know, but I guarantee you, at least 80% of the pimp relationships and whole relationship right now, I guarantee you they boyfriend and girlfriend slash pimp and whore. Yeah, I guarantee you that the guys don't even have the mentality that the guys had back in the day. As far as on how to mash and, and get control of their household and, and really run their operation. It don't work like that no more because you, if a bomb messing with somebody today, I guarantee you she messes with them because she really, really like them or they really, she, he's really, really attractive or whatever. You know, it ain't because, you know, he kicks some game out of his mouth because all the game has been pretty much let out the boat. You know what I'm saying, me? Yeah. The, the, the vault is open. Ain't no more vault full of game like it used to be back in the 70s and the 80s. Yeah. So everybody's up on game. But one thing that people ain't up on is they, they ain't up on that you just can't catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Right. Being smooth, you know, being a gentleman, being debonair, you know, being real clever. You know, you don't have to come with that fast talk and all of that slick and no funny hats and no funny shoes no more. You can come with that business suit on, with that tie on. You come with the little personality glasses and you're going to get the same amount of money you're going to talk to America out of the same amount of money they was talking that broad out of, you know, to go up in that little hotel and get you a $150 date or get you a $1,000 date or $1,000 a day. You can be getting $100,000 a day or $100,000 per move. You know, so that's the difference between, you know, the game mindset than it was back in the day. And, you know, I'm the type of person, man, I don't live in the past. Mm. In my past, I live five years in the future. I can tell you everything I'm going to do for the next five years. Mm. I can tell you step by step because as long as I got something to do in the future, guess what? I stay motivated, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. And once I accomplish so year one, then I got to go accomplish year two, then I got to accomplish year three, year four, year five. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And guess what, man? You know, hey, man, America, you know, success is on whatever service you get. Success is on the other side of whatever service that you give to the public. And that's real talk, man. Mm-hmm. You know, are you going to fall? Don't worry about it, man. Hey, man, I always tell people, fail your way into success. You know what I'm saying? If you fall on your, if you fall, fall on your back. So when you fall, you be looking up. Right. And if you fall 10 times, I expect you to get up 11. You know, because that's what winners do. You know, we do what winners do. You know what I'm saying? We, we are winners. A lot of us. We just chose the wrong profession. You know what I'm saying? You know, when the laws change, you got to change your laws. You can't fight against the system. You know, if, if they say they're giving you 100,000 years to human trafficking, you got to back up like the old days that spin up off of like the barcades. Hmm. Hey, man, listen, man, if you're brilliant enough to send a woman out there to do something for you and she bang your back amidst the police, the fire trucks, you know, the ambulance and all these people that she can call for help. If you can, in the district attorney, if you can convince her to do that, then you can convince her to go get a job in corporate America. You convince her to go out there and get a million dollar uh, loan. You convince her to go get a million dollar job or a million dollar business. It's just that your priorities is mixed up. So we got in 2020, we got to get our priorities together. We got to start thinking big. We got to focus on bigger things, you know, big things popping, little things dropping, you know, all that ripping and rhyming and all that stuff. Y'all, when the last time y'all really heard me rhyme? You know, when me and Rick be popping it, man, y'all be hearing me, I be sounding like a professor sometimes. That's what they call me, Professor Ken, for a reason. So, you know, that's what that's the difference, man. You know, and I wish all the brothers out there luck. But, man, if y'all really want to, you know, don't be having no class on Pippin, man. That ain't cool, man. I'm telling you, you're going to get yourself locked up now. You know what I'm saying? Be hear from the guy, hear from the OG. You know what I'm saying? People ain't trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? I make a lot of money. I sell a lot of books, man. But the reason why is because I talk about the right stuff, man. You know, I don't try to, you know, just give people the game. You know, I, I mention the game, but then I give them the his away, you know. Or, you know what I mean? I take them, like, my next book is so profound that, man, I'm, I'm not going to mention not one iota of the game. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be so much game in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to think that game is just the stuff we learn in the streets. You know, game is what you can learn in the corporate suites, too. You know, it takes a lot of game for me to get past that security guard and Simon and Schuster. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me, and, they, and they lead me up to the 13th floor, you know, to the VP room, you know, the vice president room, and we, we do a half a million dollar deal. Hmm. Or we talk about a million dollar deal. Or we talk about all the millions of dollars of deals we're going to do in the future. You know, it takes a lot of game. You know, and, and to walk out of there without a police escort. You know, so that's the level we need to get on. And I'll say it like this. I think it says a lot when you hear OGs that are older than you say that they can do 
and, and be like how you are. Because essentially, they're emulating your movements. Well, you know, I look up to all my OGs, man. You know, I respect them. Whatever they want to do, you know, I'm behind them. I hope that what they do, you know, they do it with wisdom and they understand, you know, that these folks ain't playing, man. They don't put themselves in harm's way, you know what I mean? They don't say nothing that can come back to bite them, that they can incriminate them, you know? That's just most important to me, right. that people be intelligent and people stay free. You know, that's what I'm really interested in, man. And so if I can if I can give somebody some game or some knowledge and tell them how I ain't been to join in 30 years, so obviously I got the formula. So, you know, I'm just trying to keep brothers out of prison. I'm trying to keep brothers from thinking that, you know, they can go back and live the 60s and the 80s and the 90s over. Them days is over with, man. You're not going to see too many players' balls like you see them back in the day. You ain't going to see the Cadillacs with the big old lights and all that, and with the teddy bear, you know, with leather teddy bears in the back, you know, the back windshield made into a teddy bear or a goldfish or whatever the hell they was doing back in Huggy Bear Day. All that stuff, you know, Huggy Bear is gone, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's only one person that I know they can still get away with he's been doing it all his life and that's the honorable Bishop Don Juan he still can be what we call flamboyant you know what I mean get away with because that's he get paid for that you know what I mean everybody ain't gonna get paid for being flamboyant they pay Bishop for wearing green and gold you know I mean I just seen the man get 20,000 10,000 5,000 dollars appearance you know people pay him for that you know I seen people pay a hundred dollars for his book you know, they get paid for that, you know. And his crew, they dress like that. I respect them, brother. That's how they dress. I'm talking to all the new brothers, you know, and all that. Man, if this ain't your hustle, you know what I mean, man? You know, you need to become, you know, you need to be the sharpest uh, knife in the box and the sharpest pencil and the pencil sharpener. You know, you, you got to come smooth. You got to come finessful, man. It's, it's a whole other game. But like I said, America's a big old hoe, and everybody should pimp on her. You know what I'm saying? Look at the United States government pimping on her. Right. You know, they make us pay taxes by April 15th. We don't pay taxes by April 15th. They send us a, a a credit report. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it goes against our credit. And sometimes we can go to jail. Mm-hmm. You know? So, I mean, you know, what better pimp do you know than that? That somebody tell you, you owe them for what you didn't earn. You know, you get out there and you go to play basketball. You know what I mean? You score 100 points and, you know, you win four or five championships. You get $100 million. They tell you they want $50 million. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Well, you open up a casino. And, you know what I mean, you, you, you put your money on the line, either person win, got to pay the government. You know, if you win a million dollars in the casino, the government taking 40%, you know. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you know, it's, it's a whole nother level of game out here. You know, so that's what I would say, the game versus, you know, the new game versus old game. The new game is a thinking man's game. You know, it's a man who understands social media, who understands the internet, who understands the fourth industrial revolution and how to navigate in this new media. You know what I'm saying, me? So if you don't know how to navigate the new media, then I don't know what to tell you, man. But, you know, if you're on the internet thinking that, you know, you're going to teach somebody some game, you're sadly mistaken. I think Rosebud, Bishop, Ken, Kenny Red, all of them didn't gave up enough games. And there's so many videos out here. You know, Maroy had tons of videos. G Gub, you know, it's a lot of players that didn't kick some game out of their mouth, man. You know, that that should tell you. It's been let out the vault. Y'all got to create something new. Y'all got to create something new. Y'all my book the art of human chess is a, a bestseller new york best time seller this book here sold millions so all over the world all throughout the prison system this is the book the 48 laws of game pepology make sure you get these books if you can't if you don't want to buy the hardcover if you don't want to buy the paperback then the best thing to do is go to itunes on your cell phone and type in my name pippin ken and i guarantee you the book will pop up they don't work go to audiobook.com type in my name they don't work go to amazon.com type in my name Anywhere books are sold all over the country, you can get my books. These are my best-selling books. You hear people talk about them all the time on Instagram, on Snapchat. These are definitely some good reads. Please get my book. I guarantee you that you will never be the same. Your life will be impacted, and also your life will be enhanced just by getting these two books, The Art of Human Chess and The 48 Laws of Game, just like The 48 Laws of Power, just like The Art of War. Oh,
cool to count. 24-7.